Last weekend was the start of the first arena dungeon, Last of Ard, where worlds battled against one another. As it was an opportunity to practice battles ahead of the Last Throne event, fierce battles took place between the worlds. Especially in matches where the battle was fierce, almost 10,000 defeats occurred in 7 hours. Let's take a deeper look into the hottest battles and those who are most active in them. Starting off with news on Match 1 between Ava, Depardieu, and Ken Rowell. Match 1 was between Ava World, home to many powerful ranking players, and the united forces of Ken Rowell and Depardieu, who had the advantage in numbers. It was a fierce battle indeed. From the start, during the battle over the first boss, Veronka, a power struggle ensued in which neither side could gain the upper hand. Although the Ava World Union had a smaller group, they had ranking players such as Niu Nai Zing Zing Oh and Gwen Yu Wei who ranks first in experience as well as 8 mage class players over level 80. In the middle of the battlefield, they actively utilized stop and absolute barrier, slowing down the enemy's attacks. Hua Ki Yin Hang Oh Oh also used the powerful spell Disintegrate and managed to defeat more than 100 enemies. However, the combined forces of the Depardieu and Ken Rowell World Union were not to be underestimated. As the two worlds joined forces, they actively utilized their advantage in number. In addition, Depardieu players who had ranked first for Elf and second for Knight in the Tower of Ordeals, such as Wolyong Di and Jun Ye Ga Hee, along with other high-ranking players, actively fought back, making it difficult to defeat the boss. In particular, during the battle over Dark King Hellbane, they utilized most of the terrain on the map to wage their battle. In the end, neither side came out on top. The battle ended with each side sharing the bosses. We applaud all the participants of Match 1 who persevered through a 7-hour long battle without giving up. Next is news on Match 2 between Joe, Jillian, and Pandora. In order to stand up against a few of the most powerful unions in Lineage W, such as Joe World's Death Yanhap, Mujok Yanhabida, and Kim Jik, unions from three different worlds joined forces. As it was a group made up of unions from three different worlds, they managed to cover the entire map. In addition, the group consists of powerful ranking players like Joe 8 server's Bello B, who played a large role during the siege and Pandora's Tuyang W to mention a few. Despite this, the Joe World Union did not back down and proved its strength in several scenes. The group of unions from three different worlds filled the map all the way up to Death Shadow Creepus. Although it seemed like there was no way through, the powerful ranking players including the first place Knight class Kim Puk Jik and the first place Dark Elf class Kim Dong Yi of the Tower of Ordeals cleared the way. Finally, it seemed like they were pushing out their enemies. However, at that moment, the stop spell was triggered, halting their advance. The group made of three worlds regrouped and attacked from the back, allowing them to defeat Creepus. Although the Joe World Union could not overcome their difference in number, they were able to push the Tri-World group through a fierce battle. In addition, the group made up of unions from three different worlds successfully defeated all the bosses. We applaud all the participants of Match 2. This week, we've prepared news on the fierce battles over the bosses in the newly added Arena Dungeon, Last of Ard. We would also like to applaud all the participants of other matches as well. We'll be back next week with more exciting news.